Hey everybody, it's Social Coach Desiree, and I wanted to do a quick video on how to do WooBox because there were some questions this, from the webinar that I did the other night. So you're going to go to WooBox.com. Um, it actually resolves to the admin panel, um, and you're going to click Login. If you've never logged in before, that's totally okay. You can sign up using your Facebook account, which is what you want to do because that's where it's going to connect to your fan page or your business page. So you're going to just click um, log in or sign up. And I've already got an account, so notice it already says Desiree Rose Social Media Coach up here. Um, and then you're going to click over to the static tabs. <clears throat> now I already have Instagram and Twitter um, set up on my page, but I want to show you how to set up the Pinterest tab. So you're going to go up here to create a tab, and then down to the Pinterest one. It's going to load for you. Now, because we're not using a pro account, you can't use mobile access, but you're going to need to know your Pinterest username. So if you don't know that, um, the way to do that would be to go over to your Pinterest account and it's going to be the address slash and whatever your name is. So mine's Desiree G. Rose. So we're going to go back over to Wufu and then you're just going to type in your account name and you can do show all pin boards or show pins from a specific pin board. I just do all of them um, and then I just click save settings. Now what that did is it actually activated the the, the item on my page. So I'm going to go back over here to my social coach page and I'm going to hit refresh and you'll notice that we now have a Pinterest tab. Now if you want to get cute and creative you can actually modify these buttons right here to say um, and show different things. So I'm going to go back over to Wufu and then I'm going to go down to where it says manage, edit, and then tab settings. So I'm going to click tab settings and we can actually customize this button right here. So we're going to go to change. Now it's not a big change because I didn't really want to change it crazy amounts, but it, as you notice, all it did was add an outline and then um, you can actually change the tab to say, um, come pin with me or whatever it is that you want it to say. And that's going to save over here and you're going to go back over to your page and once you refresh that, you'll see that now it says come pin with me with a customized um, actual thing. So the same thing if you already have some things set up and you want to actually edit them, you're going to go back over to your static tabs. Now I created a little button for Instagram so I could show you guys. So I'm going to click edit tab, then down to tab settings. I'm going to change this button and I created something cute over here. It's 111 by 74 if you're going to create your own buttons. And then um, click Save Settings. And then when it comes back up, you're going to go back over to your fan page and you will see that it says take a look. So it's just an easy way to customize these tabs. You can do book a party, host a show, um, however you want to do it um, to get people to your different um, social platforms, however you want to lead them there. There's different ways that you can do it. You want to make sure that you're leading them back to your corporate web page if your compliance and information says that you should. It's based on each company being different, so make sure you take a peek at that. So I hope this tutorial was helpful.